There is a saying that a litre of diesel turns diesel fuel into noise and smoke. As a sarcastic comment, it's quite true, with the higher level of noise and perhaps worse mileage than the competitive engines. But they are really good sounding and most importantly very reliable engines. As a below 2 stroke diesel power plant, here's a selection of some sorted by a number of cylinders. Two seventy one. The 271 is one of the smallest Detroit diesels ever made. There was also the 253 with a little small displacement. This unit was mainly used as a generator for refrigerator rail cars or to power tractors. The specs are valid for the 271N with 4 exhaust valves per cylinder. Three seventy one. The three cylinder seventy one series is quite a big engine for its displacement. The four fifty three has nearly the same engine volume, but is more appropriate for on road use. While the three seventy one was a popular choice for tractors such as the Macy Ferguson, it also makes fewer horsepower and weighs quite a lot compared to the four cylinder of the fifty three series. Four fifty three. As said before, the four fifty three is a more suitable engine for regular road trucks and actually also sounds a lot nicer. Due to smaller pistons, it revs higher than the seventy one series and was sold in a turbocharged trim as well. That one had around one hundred and seventy eight horsepower and four hundred and twenty pound feet without an intercooler. V92. The 6V92 is one of the most famous and also popular engine amongst two-stroke Detroit diesels. It had an ideal size for many applications like buses, fire trucks, lighter semi trucks, as well as generators. It was factory turbocharged and intercooled, and its soundtrack is extremely good with straight pipes. V71. The V8 version of the 71 series was sold as naturally aspirated with 4 valves per cylinder or turbocharged with an intercooler. It was slightly bigger than the 6 cylinder of the 92 series and had significantly more power and torque. It found its way into similar vehicles, mostly semis and buses.
12 v71. Since Zitroid has never built a two-stroke V10, this list jumps directly to the 12-cylinder model of the 71 series. Even though it had a more serious displacement than the smaller power plants, it was still only a fraction piece of the biggest Detroit. The V12 was installed in trucks like Kenworth or Brockway, used for towing a lot bigger trailers than a regular semi does. The turbo variant had more power by 20%. V71. 16 cylinders are rare, but Detroit Diesel did produce them. Both NA and turbocharged, these were used as industrial engines, for example in hull trucks. The Detroits are not known for low fuel consumption, but despite some of their downsides, they work extremely reliably. V149. The series 149 was a huge engine, displacing 2440cc per cylinder. It started at 8 cylinders, and as customers required a lot of horsepower, eventually Detroit created the V20 variant using two V6 and one V8 block. There was no naturally aspirated versions. It was fitted with three blowers, six servos, and three intercoolers. V71. The 24 V71 is the cylinder king of the Detroit diesels. With that, these are also a very unique and rare power plant mainly used in marine applications. It is said that the company made around 250 of them for boats and one got into right hands with a result of 3000 plus horsepower using 12 8 V71 blowers and creating one of the most useless on-road vehicles ever. 